okay. I'm not really particularly bothered by it. But some were asking for Alan Wake to return to talk, so yeah. I... The darkness controls the Taken. We've heard that before. There we go. Freedom for us. Of course, this has to be like the slowest moving thing to open ever. Uh. Oh, gee. Oh, coffee thermos. <laughs> oh, about to die. I got locked into a corner because of that axe. First of all, coffee thermos. I didn't realize there was one over here. I'll go pick it up. All day long, I'll be addicted to caffeine up. There I go. God dang it, axe throwing enemies. Uh, no siree, sir. Oh no, no, oh, no, 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 fucking damn it. There's no flares in this situation, and the thing that happens to be the slowest moving thing ever is. So... I want to get this coffee thermos, though. Worth my life, apparently, in coffee. If I can get rid of all these axe throwing guys and speedy guys instead of just focusing on him, I might be better off actually. <gasps> oh, Jesus, because that would put me into a one hit kill state. And, uh... Now I get stuck on that. This guy's almost dead, but yeah. I can just focus on fuck these guys. Once this guy is dead over here. Oh, you fucking axe throwing guys. There you go. And indeed, there we go. I could have used that explosive barrel to my advantage. I know it's until this right now. The darkness wears her face. Got it. Well, checkpoint. I got some bottles in here, if that means anything. Batteries. Some good things to pick up there. There's obviously a way we can get up there. But first of all, supplies. Supplies everywhere. We need as much as we can carry. So they're sort of supplying us up for the next bit. There's also a radio over there. I'll take advantage of that. There you go, see, radio. Let's listen in. And here's a new song from a band that, that, they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. It's a joke because Old Gods of Asgard is a fictional band that's performed by Poets of the Fall. But this is actually a Poets of the Fall song, so yeah. White crippled wings feed in the sky. Yeah. The harbingers of war with the nature revealed. And our chances for when by Yeah. Stuck in the corner, I'm stuck in the corner, I'm stuck in the corner. Get me out of this fucking corner.
Oh, gee. No, no, no. Fucking god damn it. I got into a bad way there pretty early on, so, yeah. And here's a new song from a band that... This is always real. Now let me take advantage of these explosive barrels around here. Lots of supplies over here for me. There we go, took care of the big guy. He did get his just desserts on me, but still. What? Oh, I think Bright says I had this in hand. There we go, I took care of the big guy there. More enemies pouring in, of course. This guy sneaking up behind me as well. It's another big guy. Oh, jeez. Take advantage of this cheapness. That actually works, I'm surprised. There you go, gotta work hard. Well, we beat all of them. It's nice old blurry radio music, what are you gonna do? Okay. Sounds nice. So I'll go into the special part loot later in. Let me first see if there's any more supplies in here which I can pick up. Nothing back here. And inside any of these little pipes here. And so that's negatory, Captain. Now our difficulties difficulty is really starting to show itself. I could have used a few more of these explosive barrels. Let's continue on our way. We're going to the power plant. Of course. Which means we certainly have more to see and do. We're trying to get to that big old lit up building over there. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. Well, Wake, let's get going. Gotta drop down here. He's had to travel to a lot of places off in the distance tonight, but hey, he does what he can. There's a supply crate right here for us. Give us a flashbang and a flare. It's useful. I'll equip the flare right now as well as the gun. We can hear enemies being all active right now. Gate opens and immediately lets us in. Let's get going. This should be a tricky one. I'm really hoping we can push him back to the electricity. Let 
this stuff. And there you go. Only have five bullets left with the revolver. Oh boy, hard hat area. Do not touch electricity, because electricity will indeed surge through you. What else would you expect to happen, really? It's a nice little waterfront area, though. That way it's blocked by electricity, so let's go this way. We just have to use that bridge over there to cross the other side. Why the only way cross the road to get to the other side? Ha ha, hardy har. Here's some light for us. Gives us a little bit of all of our supplies, which we're strangling for now after having a lot of supplies in the last episode. Our area. <laughs> oh, electricity's out, of course. Okay, sir. Only a few more bullets. God dang it. Oh, jeez, that almost hit me. You, sir, are going next. Definitely. Raincoat or not, that is not for good weather. I could press this. I could turn the light on on them if I was smart about it, but I wasn't. That way's blocked by electricity, so we'll take this route. God, fuck all these big guys. You know, this time I'm going to take advantage of that fucking light. Come over here, fall for my trap. This will be brilliant. I'll disappear in the light. Alright. If he comes back for me, I'll summon the light on him. Do you see that board? It just blocked the way. Ugh. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yes! At least that worked, and that's how I can get my health back by standing inside the light anyway. Okay. However, though, what about this board that started blocking the way? This isn't. <laughs> board. Board. Uh, you're not supposed to be in the way, I don't think. Okay. This barrel. Yeah, there we go. The barrel's blocking it. There we go. Uh, there's an anchor page over there. Might as well pick it up and see what it has to say. Cynthia on her way to the dam. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. A live long day, said Cynthia Weaver. We'll make our way through the power plant this way. What sort of supplies are in here? Oh, those are the supplies I wanted. This is locked? Of course that's locked. This doesn't look like an area I might get ambushed by enemies. What are you talking about? The little open space here. Totally not. You know, I don't know why I'm surprised these days. I'm gonna leave those enemies be. They can fight amongst themselves for all I care. Lower this. And else here for me? Uh, no, sir, no, sir. Oh. Uh, uh, stand back! Well, I think I'm okay. Manuscript page. Take it. Wake's plan. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Sounds like a crazy person plan. Nice view, though. 
Don't think I'll see you guys hiding down there. Let me reload this gun. That guy's just noping the fuck out. Well, time to go on. Physics? What if I jump? Oh, there you go. Oh, we made it out of the power plant. Now time to cross this bridge and fortress one of those turning bridges. Why would they even need a turning bridge here? It doesn't connect to anything. Whatever. We need to turn it somehow, because obviously it's not quite straight on. There's some turning bridges here in Oregon. I can confirm that, but not in places like this. Le okay, Lieutenant William T.G. Randall Memorial Bridge. This bridge has been designated as a memorial in honor and recognition of Lieutenant William T.G. Randall, 1919-1981. He really likes spinning around. A World War II P POW and receptant of the Distinguished Service Cross. He died at of injuries received during the successful rescue of two children from a burning car crashed at this location. My oh my. Speaking of that car crash, that seems to be deliberately... That seems... I couldn't get across until I found a way to turn the bridge. Why would the crash still be here and smoking? Actually, is that manuscript page? I, know, I almost didn't even see it. Children of the Elder Gods, Lyric 1. Children of the Elder God Lyrics by Old Gods of Asgard. The first verse and chorus. Warriors. Torchbearers, come redeem our dreams. Shine a light upon this night of otherworldly themes. Odin's might be your guide. Divorce you from the same. Hammer's way will have its say. Rise up in their name. O oh, memory and thought, jet black and clawed. Children of the Elder God, scourge of light upon the dark. Henshin the Goko is actually from Beautiful Joe, but I like it too. And those are also the lyrics of the song that we heard when we were fighting on the stage, Children of the Elder God. Still, probably the controls for the bridge are inside this shack right next to the bridge. Logically, it makes sense. Out. Yes. Let's go inside. Flare gun, revolver ammo, all the things you'd like to have. Batteries, more flare gun ammo, and let's turn the bridge. There we go, it's starting to spin. Unfortunately, if we started spinning it, I don't think it's gonna stop spinning. But hey, it's on its way. Here it comes at the speed of sound. Oh, it's starting to speed up here. To the bridge. Vines, hurry up. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're not going to make that. Back to the other side. Ugh. Spinning bridge being attacked by birds everywhere. We should have just waited on this side. It's gonna spin back eventually. Here we go, we're almost at the exit. There we go. To the other side. Birds decided to stop giving fucks after that. Someone stopped the possibility of making this stop. And wait, there's a TV for us to watch. The last episode of Night Springs. Being butterflies or butterflies that dream of being men. Such philosophical concerns are by necessity abstract. And yet, some of us can find concrete proof of the nature of our existence. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. Just, 
like it isn't there, but oh, I can't look straight at it. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. That one's a bit more parody ish than a lot of the other episodes. But, anyways, let's continue on our way. Oh, a helicopter. They're gonna give us some aerial support here. A little light source here, so. Yai. Yeah. I forget if there's things inside the woods or not, but I'll follow their light for the moment. I thought that might be best for the moment. That was a lot of big guys I want to take care of. <laughs> Reload this. Ta da! No one bites the dust. Nothing behind. Of course, more guys coming this way. I thought I saw something over there, but I guess I did. Oh, oh, I did see something over there. Oh, yes, I did. Fucking goddamn. The thing is, once they start the animation, they won't stop until after the animation's been finished. Thankfully, I got a checkpoint right here, so. Please stop throwing your things at me, sirs. Uh, See if I can do this. Uh, God, I was about to pull out my flare gun and be all badass, but no. He killed me. Because the thing is, on nightmare difficulty, the big guys, any attack by them puts you on next to dead health. Unless you're already on dying health. And yeah. I'm so you're just taking one hit from them. And they are attacks that be sometimes hard to dodge because they're such big attacks. Well, it's only a shotgun from here. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Uh my shotgun. Uh, 
Uh, you want okay the last guy that's trying to get some. All the effort just to survive at times. We'll continue going this way. If another pack appears, I'm fucking sticking my flare gun out on them. Sure there's something over here. Yeah, here it is. Treasure chest. I'll take the supplies. Give me your goodies. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Survival becomes harder and harder as the night goes on. We're also starting to run a little bit low on ammo, but we'll be able to make it. Take to the light, and let's I guess pick up the little goodies we have here. We're almost to the power plant building. It's right there. So we got this kind of creepy tunnel area. Why not? That wasn't me. Oh. Poor sandwich to these smaller guys. Saw you coming, heard you coming from that direction. <sighs> bah, 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 bah. Nightmare can be a real struggle, especially in these later episodes. The nightmare of nightmares is certainly starting to show itself. But we're making it. One day and step at a time. Bright falls, light, and power. I recognize the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Trust no one in the dark. Can I pick up the page from here? I have to go through the gate. Got it. Safe haven. It's words I don't particularly trust, but hey, it says it is. Let's go. Hold it right there! Miss Weaver! Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh, you knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. Well, there she in is. In the well-lit room. Excuse me? What do you need to drive the darkness back? The well-lit room is at the dam. I've built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? No, I have a secret route. A lit route. An old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's draining all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it? Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. Uh, yes, if you don't remember struggling with this part, I am right now playing the game on Nightmare difficulty. It's difficulty you unlock after you be in the game once. Uh, the only difference is that uh, enemies are harder, obviously. There's more of them. Preparing and these times, the dark times. Times. You have found my caches, haven't you? You can see the signs. Very few people can. Yes, please. Take what you need. This is all for you, for the likes of us. We we do Tom's work, don't we? Hurry! The switch is on the wall facing the shore. Uh, the other change is that there's additional manuscript pages that are only on this difficulty. Additional story stuff. I pick up that stuff. Batteries. Yeah. I cannot take you to the well lit room if the lights in the pipe go out. You must go outside to use the emergency switch. And yes, she's a reference to the log lady. So, from Twin Peaks. Pick up flare gun. Darkness waits in my dreams. I miss you, Tom. Dark. 
some batteries there, but I'm already stuff full. Reload this for a second. I just reload this. Yes, dark and light. Yes, yes, I do. Uh, of course, I've got a heavier flashlight. The heavy duty flashlight is one of the most useful items you can pick up, so yeah. I... Hmm, to you too. Anything else to say? Just gonna examine that light of yours. Okay, I'm going out. There you go, freedom for us. Now before I get to the... To, uh, 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 series. I'm just going after this manuscript page back here. Give me a moment. Running on back for this thing. Speaking of good old pages they can only collect on this difficulty, the pages they can only collect on Nightmare difficulty are the ones that have that little logo that looks like fire or a claw or something next to it. The Poet and the Muse lyrics for. The Poet and the Muse, lyrics by Old Gods of Asgard, the chorus. And now to see your love set free, you will need the witch's cabin key. Find the Lady of the Light, gone mad with the night. Find the Lady of the Light, still raving in the night. That's how you reshape destiny. Yai. Tom, I have seen it, I just wasn't answering.